guys, uh, this is, um, not an unboxing or anything, this is actually, uh, I'm gonna, this is a video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a gate, uh, a terminal gate, like, a boarding gate, that kind of gate, and, yeah, out of paper, and they're pretty realistic, and they're pretty nice, and they're really easy to make, and, so, and, this is what you'll need. You'll need paper. One sheet is good. You don't even need the whole sheet. You won't even use it. Yeah. And tape. Uh, scissors. And a glue stick. Doesn't matter what kind of glue stick. But yeah. So uh, anyways, so let's get started. You can make any kind of cake you want with this. You can make... Um, I make the L gates, like L shape, so it's like, uh, well it's like an L shape, like an L, and so yeah, you can make any kind, you can make like the, just the straight ones, and then the little end turns around, and comes on the airplane, I make the L ones, so yeah, and yeah, so it's the, uh, what, how do you, like, this is how you do it, so, now I'm going to be cutting the, this is the, which stretches from the, um, terminal to the aircraft, and so this is the length, so I'll make it, for this gate I'll, I'm going to be needing it a little bit smaller for the gate I'm making right now, so I'll need it maybe about to here, cut that one straight, yeah, okay, now, what you have to do is you fold it once, twice, three times, and four times. I always do it four times. Well, now I did it five times. It doesn't matter. It's sometimes it's better if you do five times because then you can measure. Like, see, this is what you do. Now you um, so there it is, and then you just put it together and it makes okay like that. So yeah, and then but if you do five sides then you can, you know, see which side is better. But I'm gonna use this side, so I'll cut off this side. And there. So that and that goes on like that. And now I'll need, and I have to make the other part, which I'll show you in a second. So I don't have like some, like an already finished one. Um, I have one, at, I have some at my airport, but, yeah. Uh, so here it is, and then, what you have to do is you have to glue it together. Holes. Don't, I wouldn't really recommend using tape for this, on this part, but you have to use tape on a different part. A second, let me just screw this. And now, for the second part of the case, you will need to cut another piece, like you did before, but smaller. It doesn't really matter what size, but I need it like this. Actually, I'm going to make it like this. Smaller. Oops, just cut that back. And make sure it's Whenever you do it, it has to be straight. If it's all crooked and stuff, it won't work. So I try to be as straight as you can. Cut as straight as you can. Thank you. 
grass, as you can see, it's like this. Just a smaller little piece, and this is going to go on the gate like this. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't have to be like perfect, like some special size in particular. It can be any size you want. It can be if you want you can even but it also depends like what kind of gauge. If you're playing a one two hundred scale gauge then you need way you need to make this way bigger. So this cool this time. Almost done the gate. That's the that and it's actually pretty easy and even fun to make. And then cheaper, you don't even have to pay. Well unless well unless you need the material. Anyways, so here's the thing. There we go. Got that. Alright, and now what you have to do is um, pick a side of the longer gate. The lo of the, um, it's better if you put the flap that you glued on to make a square, to make it like rectangular, to, like make it 3D, then it's better if you put that down. It just looks better. And then you have to do this. You have to cut this and this. So you have to cut it out like this. So now it's this. And then you have to cut that little thing off, little flap. So now it's like this. Sorry, just can't see that good. And now and then you, what you have to do is you have to touch this to the glue. You have to um Insert the gate like this, right into here, like that. And you just have to play around with it, just see how it fits better and how you like it more. And then do it like this. So then, actually, I'll, let me just do it first. Let me just see how it goes. Okay, so yeah, this cut the excess paper off. See how it's here. This this is how it looks now. See that's what I meant. It's a belt. Now I just got the glue for this. You don't even have to do this because this doesn't even barely does anything. But it's still better to do because it holds it just a little bit better. Actually, okay, I'm not even doing it. It doesn't work. But this is what you really have, to, what you need to do. After you want to just descend properly. Uh, there. Okay, you take the tape now. Don't like make the pieces too big because they won't really look nice. You don't need those very big pieces. So this is what you do. You have to take the tape and just tape it together. And so like this. and you don't need the glue stick anymore. So, so 
check this guy to one more little piece. And then you have your face. And also make sure always if keep on checking if you didn't make it crooked. Like if the gate's not like all like wavy, you know like so it's not like um so the gate like doesn't come like give us one a little crooked. This isn't the best gate I made, this one's actually kind of bad. But anyways, whatever, you get the point. So yeah, thanks for this, and so yeah, here it is. Kind of ruined the end, like right here. It's kind of bad, but whatever, you can use, oh, you see, you get what to do. So yeah, here it is, it's a pretty nice gate. Yeah, I gotta end this video, it's pretty long now. Thanks for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe, and make some games if you like this. Thanks, bye.